Hi everyone, it's Kino McGregor. I'm taking student questions today, which I do about once a month. The question today is from a woman in Poland whose name I'm going to have a hard time pronouncing. So please forgive me ahead of time if I mispronounce your name. So this question is from Bogumila Ludwinska. So, <laughs> hi, out in Poland. It's awesome that you're practicing. I've actually been to Poland to teach great Ashtanga students there, and I'm going to be there again this year. So you can check out the studio I went to, it's ashtanga.pl, so you can check them out. Ashtanga Yoga in Warsaw, rocking studio, great students in Poland. So Bogumila is taking a teacher training and she would like to know if I have any recommendations of books. Awesome that you're reading. I hope you can read English because I, I don't know any books in Polish that I could recommend. So uh, you wrote to me in really good English, so I hope, I hope you're all right with that. So, so she says she's only been reading web sources. The web is awesome. You're probably watching this on the web right now. But if you want to go deeper into your knowledge base, then I definitely recommend reading some books about yoga. The first place that I would probably recommend that you start is, especially if you're going to be doing a teacher training, is get a good anatomy book. So what's a good anatomy book? Well, the key muscles of Hatha Yoga is a great um, anatomy book so I would definitely recommend to check that out. The Tree of Yoga by BKS Iyengar is also one that I would definitely recommend. It's a really great book that's a friendly introduction to the practice. There's also a book called Krishnamacharya, His Life and Teachings by A.G. Mohan, which is a great book about the teacher-student relationship. It'll really give you the idea of lineage and the importance of lineage-based traditions in the practice. Krishnamacharya is the father of almost all modern yoga in the vinyasa tradition, whether it's Ashtanga, Iyengar, or the vinyasa method. So being connected into Krishnamacharya, his life and his teachings, is a really important step in the journey of the vinyasa yogi or the Ashtanga yoga or even the Iyengar yogi, any yoga practitioner really. So I definitely recommend that. A really good yoga sutras translation is a great tool for any potential yoga teacher to have. If you're considering teaching, um, a good perhaps intro into a book on um, the yoga sutras would be Swami Sachidananda's Yoga Sutras translation. If you want to go deeper into it and you can read and understand sort of higher level academic English, Edwin Bryant has an amazing translation of the Yoga Sutras that is uh, very true to its original intent and is a great academic resource. Yoga Mala, which is the book by Sri K. Patabi Joyce, is an infinite source of wisdom on the Ashtanga Yoga method. I would definitely recommend that you read that as well. One of my favorite books on the spiritual path, which I think any yoga practitioner should read, is called A Path with Heart by Jack Kornfield. He's absolutely awesome. Um, he's a Buddhist teacher and a meditation teacher, and it's just really an amazing tool that is more like a friend if you're on the spiritual path. Um, another book from the Buddhist tradition that I'd recommend is When Things Fall Apart by Pema Chodron. She's an awesome Tibetan teacher and she's absolutely amazing. Um, along those lines, another great resource as a teacher is uh, from the Buddhist tradition is Zen Mind, Beginner's Mind by Suzuki Roshi. When you're a teacher, it's so easy to become the expert. So you have to remember that you've got to be a student first and foremost in the yoga tradition. So this book really helps explain the benefits of the beginner's mind, the beauty of that. So you can keep that purity and that innocence even, you know, even after you've graduated from your teacher training. So there are so many books in the yoga tradition. This would be just a beginning, a starting point. I would also recommend that you read the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, maybe a good translation of the Gita is, um, you know, the yoga of the Bhagavad Gita by Paramahansa Yogananda. This is a really important tool in the, you know, in the philosophy of yoga. If you're looking for a little bit more of the history and the philosophy of yoga, The Deeper Dimension of Yoga by George Feuerstein is a really great overview and it's very readable and very accessible. Um, I think this is a really good place to start. There are, of course, many more books that I'd recommend. Um, but if you start there and you really go through all of that, I think you'll have a really good um, foundation for learning, for reading of a good yoga library, at least to start off with. Um, I should probably also say that I have a book coming out this year called The Power of Ashtanga Yoga, which is published by Shambhala Publishers. And I'm really, really honored 
um, to be included in their lexicon of authors. So you can of course check out my book too. Um, Shambhala also published a book by Richard Freeman, I think called The Mirror of Yoga. That's an amazing read. As a beginner, I would perhaps start with some of the more um, like easy yoga books and then progress to Richard Freeman's book as, you know, as, after getting a foundation in the basics of yoga philosophy. Okay, well, I mean, you've got a great library there. Um, Bogumila, I hope that you continue your journey and maybe get inspired and one day go to my store and practice there. Um, keep your connection to being a student, keep reading, keep learning, and be an awesome teacher. Thanks so much for watching.